I think an important question to ask is, when was the last time you can remember where you felt like your safety, your physical safety was at risk? And if you ask women that question, they can usually think of some time within the last few days, last week. Um, if you ask men that same question, they have no idea. Watching her feet, they start to come towards me, boom, and I'm throwing it in. So it's just you coming out from a different angle. A dear friend of mine, as a matter of fact, had been just viciously assaulted and was terrified. In particular, there was an instructor here who looked like her attacker, and it was somebody that she knew. And if she was in the room with him, she would start shaking. Just, it was so deep in her lizard brain, it was terrifying. So at first, she would go in the room, and then she'd leave the room. And then she got a little more courage, and she'd stay in the room but he couldn't come anywhere close to her. And then slowly over weeks, she actually ended up being able to work with him. And she would uh, hold pads for him while he punched and he could hold while she did. And she owns her world now. Hi, Dana. There, there you go. go. Good. Hey. Hey. Don't stop me. especially the, um, the choke holds, because <clears throat> that's actually happened to me. Um, and one, one exercise that was really powerful was uh, they, they sort of gave us uh, instructions dry, and then once we practiced it, they turned the lights off, and they said, okay, you know, uh, A's and B's, so all A partners, close your eyes in the dark, and B partners are gonna walk around and just put their hands on people's throats and, and choke them. Like, not to the point of hurting someone, but to the point of um, surprising them. And that was really, really hard. Really, really hard for me. But um, I just kept breathing and did it. And by the end of that class, I felt like I had achieved something new. Resist Attack Foundation is a non-profit organization but it started off as an e-commerce website that sold self-defense products and then I went to college with my eldest daughter just to look around colleges and saw so many women that were away from home for the first time and looked a little bit alone and scared so we decided just to start giving away the pepper sprays. Fight back is a big thing. You know, we're raised in a very polite society and everyone tries to, you know, be calm and you should really fight back as early and as often as possible in, in these situations. People rely on you being polite. Like someone comes up and asks for directions and gets too close for you and pushes you into a car, people will get into the car. I, we hope never to have to actually use it. So it's more a matter of being prepared, it's like having insurance. You really hope you never need it. You hope that you never have to have life insurance, that you never, you don't want to be sick, you don't want to have to have house insurance, but it sure is nice when you need it. Okay.